Do you ever wish that you could relive your hockey games or other extreme sports from your point of view? Do you simply want to make some rad videos to share with grandma to show off your wicked awesome hockey skills? Or are you a person of leisure and just want to film life around you before it's too late? Well, that is what we are here to solve today as we are going to mount a GoPro to the front of a hockey helmet. Let's go. Now, here are the things that we need to get this done. The first and most important thing for this is that you will need a GoPro and you will need the curved mount. The second and equally as necessary is that you will need some kind of helmet. Some optional things that you might want to consider having are some kind of marker or pencil and masking tape. Although the GoPro mount has an adhesive strip on it, I prefer to use an epoxy as well to help really secure it down to the helmet. Probably the most optional of all of them is to have some sandpaper. Leave a comment below letting me know what sport you would use it for and what you would do with the footage. Would you use it to get better at your sport? To make video content on YouTube? Or do you want to just film everyday life so that in case something were to happen to you that your friends and family would be able to see the things that brought you joy in life so that you're not forgotten? you remembered. For whatever you want to use it for, I'm very interested in learning. Please just leave a comment below letting me know. Now, let's get to it. The first step in the process is to mark out on the helmet where you want the mount to go. For me, I want it to sit close to this line right here so that I get a good angle facing down, but also I can see the play in front of me. You want to make sure that whenever you readjust the helmet, the mount does not get in the way. Hmm, you know what? Let's see if I can tighten this up just a little bit. So for this helmet, what I like to do is I just grab one of these tools and I don't recommend it because it's actually sometimes can be a little dangerous, but I know what I'm doing. No, just kind of Jimmy. It. Oh boy. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a bandage or something. Now you see y'all, nothing a little, uh, you know, band-aid won't fix. Um, we, can, we can still get this done. A little bit of, just a little bit of blood. Um, let's keep rolling, keep, keep the film rolling, guys. Where was I? We want to place the mount where exactly we want it, which is somewhere right like this. This front board, if you can see, if you can zoom in on that, this front board actually helps keep it aligned pretty well. We want to also just kind of throw in a little bit of this uh, hairy masking tape. Having, having dog hair on the masking tape is not a requirement, by the way. With this outline, I'm actually going to throw down some masking tape. This will help with two things. It will prevent me from roughing up the plastic with the sandpaper outside the area that the mount will be sitting. The second thing is it will allow me to put the epoxy in this area without risking the epoxy running outside the desired area onto the rest of the plastic. With the helmet properly adjusted and the area masked out, we can now rough up the area a little bit using some sandpaper. Now, if you have a helmet that's pretty old, it might already be scuffed up and roughed up a little bit, so you don't need to do the sandpaper part. But I'm gonna do it for this helmet as it is quite new. So now we're gonna open our sandpaper. And I'm being serious, when I say this, very light, very gentle, you just wanna do it a little bit. That's all, that is it. Four or five times, that's it. That's all, that's all you wanna do. Nothing more than that. Now, everything is ready for us to put the epoxy on the helmet. Remember that you really only have one shot at this. And if you mess up, it is not impossible to fix, but it is extremely difficult to. With this, select whatever epoxy you want to use, and please default to the instructions on the box. Be sure to remove that adhesive strip before doing this though. If you are using the epoxy method, add a good amount of the epoxy directly to the adhesive tape. Now, trying to stay within the bounds of the tape, add the mount to the predetermined location. It looks like we have it placed exactly where we want it, so now we can remove the masking tape. 
Now, we have to wait 24 hours to let this epoxy set. Once this is set, we can then add the GoPro camera to the mount. See you in 24 hours. Let's take a look at the mount that we attached to the helmet 24 hours ago. You can see that it is a little bit crooked, which is fine. We'll be able to make do with that. There's, it's not gonna be the end of the world. It's not like it's completely sideways. So it looks pretty good. So now what we're going to want to do is add the camera. With this, we already have the GoPro attached to the mount's attachment. Lifting the rubber piece up, we will want to slide it into place with the camera facing down the helmet. Then to lock it into place, you push that rubber piece down. And there we go. Here's the helmet with the GoPro mounted on it. Let's try it on. From here, you can test out different angles from this camera to see what works best for you. If you want to see more of your stick handling abilities or if you want to see more of the play. I would give this video a watch or this video.